Welcome to the Darocus Learning Channel. Today we're going to be talking about systems and how you can build systems into the items overview within Darocus. The first thing that we're going to do is open up the items overview. From here we'll see our items are put together within groups. We have our systems browser and on the right side we'll have the systems and the parts and pieces that build up our system. The first thing that we want to do when we're building up a system example here is think of this as a planning effort. We're going to start by planning an electrical system with our service panels using a transformer switchboard. So the transformer switchboard is the beginning and center of our system. We're going to add it as a component into our system browser. Now that we have the beginnings of our system, we want to start thinking of the pieces that might be associated to that system. We could associate this particular system to a room if we know that this room is being planned with that system in mind. In this case, we're not going to add this to a room. Let's continue our planning effort by now building up the components that will go into our system. We'll first by start adding a new component into our system and searching Rather than going through the browsing effort within our item groups, the search panel helps us find specific items that we want to add to our system. By doing a search for panel, I can find my lighting and appliance panel, and I'm going to create the system integration using a circuit. So I have my panel board, and I'm going to connect that to my switchboard using a circuit. Now I have the beginnings of my overall system, a transformer, is connected to my panel. We could continue down this path and starting to fill in some of our planned efforts related to the wiring system or any kind of loads that are associated with that circuit. But the circuit is then the key to connecting our transformer switchboard to our lighting panel. I can simply do a copy system to now copy all of those circuits and all of their associated panels and continue down this effort of planning. Now to visualize these parts and pieces, I can look at them in a list mode or I can look at them in our new graphics viewer. So let me go up to the view tab and select the systems graph. The systems graph can be very helpful when you're trying to look at our overall system. So first I'm gonna select the system and now we'll see it in the graphics panel. This is our beginnings of a line diagram showing our relationship between the transformer switchboard, the circuits connected to that, and then the panel boards associated to those. We can change our layout in several different ways if we're trying to look at our system in different ways. The other way of working is instead of going from a planning effort, looking at the design and pushing the design into Dorofus. We can do this by looking at our integration within our Revit plugin. We're looking at an electrical model and we're going to connect the electrical components that are inside this model to Dorofus. The first thing that I'll do is log into Dorofus so that I have that connection between Dorofus and Revit. And I'm going to be looking at my systems browser. I want to build up the same thing that I did earlier. I want to start off by finding my transformer switchboard. Now that I found my switchboard, I can use the Dorofus tool to import that selected switchboard system. Simply by selecting import selected, it's loading the dependencies of those different occurrences that build up my overall panel system. Now if we toggle back to Dorofus and we simply refresh the view that we're looking in, now that transformer panel shows as two occurrences. The first one that I designed earlier from a planning exercise and the second one that's been imported directly from Revit. You'll see that there's even an association to which room that particular switchboard is connected to. Down to each one of the circuits that it's connected to and then those components that are being supplied. We can see that the appliance dwelling was connected to my overall switchboard. You'll also see that all of the parameters that are associated to that component have been brought in as well. The loads, the wire types, all of those efforts that we had put in originally into Revit have now been pulled into Dorofus. 
Now that they're connected, I can actually edit and build some additional connections and modifications. I can change the different parameters that I had within Revit. For example, if I take the serial number that was 01 that pulled from Revit, I can change this to 101 and simply synchronize that effort with my Dorofus uh, information to my Revit panel information. Doing the same import selected icon, this time we'll now synchronize those components. Now that those components have been synchronized, if I drill into that circuit, I can now see that the circuit has changed from 01 to 101. So I can start to manage some of these occurrence parameters in my Revit environment from my Dorofus component environment. This offers some additional flexibility in the design process. What I can also do is drill even further into my Revit systems, all the way down to the actual components that might be powered. These could be light fixtures, it could be switches, and so forth. I want to just import a portion of my Revit model, so I've done a shift selection from the actual panel all the way up to the um, item itself, the light fixtures. In this case, when I do import selected, I've imported 17 components in my system and 343 occurrences that have been imported from my Revit environment. So if I toggle back to Dorofus and I again refresh my view, I can now drill in from that switchboard all the way down into the panel and the lighting panel board that came from Revit into the actual components that came from my Revit environment. So these could be the actual light fixtures that came from my Revit model. Now we're able to see every single instance of that light troffer and all of the components that might be associated to that dwelling connection. This adds an additional power because now that I have that inside of my Dorofus environment, I could connect this to a 3D model that I've imported as well. I could take my Revit model and import it as an IFC and view that system component and that system overall integration with my IFC model. So by selecting the light dwelling unit, it's highlighting all of those troffer lights that are associated to that system. So as a non-Revit user, I could be in Dorofus visualizing the connections associated to these components. I could select individual light fixtures and confirm that they are the right type. I could even start to associate these particular items to specific products. If I knew that this particular light fixture needed to be associated to a specific brand or manufacturer. There's much more to our systems integration and I encourage you to go check it out.